Hi Aries, this is your reading with me for 2022 predictions. I hope you are well. We are going to have a look and see what is coming through. I'm going to go month by month, which I'm very excited about. I've got the tarot cards ready to go. And I also wanted to mention as well that if you would like to win a free reading with me, check out the description box below as I do a giveaway every single month or giveaways, should I say. And um, also private services are listed down below as well if you're interested in any services with me. And the last thing I wanted to mention is that intention manifesting items are also on my website, which is shopmoonlightguidance.com. At the bottom of my website, there is the entire review section, which has thousands of five star reviews of how people have seen results in their life with these items. So there's items for different categories, such as, of course, bracelets, necklaces, anklets, pom poms, tassels, embroidered cards, which you can put under your pillow, your wallet, or your purse. There's candles, there's crystals, there's sage, and yeah, they're really, really special. So there's so many different ones for different intentions. This one here is the Wealth, Career and Success Candle. So yeah, they're super, super special. They are handmade. They are safety tested, plant based, and uh, lots of people have seen results with these. So check, you know, check them out. There's so many different ones here. This is the Manifest Your Wishes Candle. So they're all there. And um, yeah, so many other items as well. Okay, so let's begin Aries and see what is coming through. January. Okay. <laughs> so we start first of all with January. We got the seven of pentacles. And many of you are reflecting on your finances. You're also reflecting on the things that have been good and the things that have gone good. Of course, there are many other things that you have been expecting or wanting or wanting to come to fruition. And I do feel like there is a really positive energy here. It's just that many of you are reflecting a lot in January. You're thinking about the things that you would like to achieve, the things that you would like to do. January is... Um, I would say more of a reflective sort of month. Um, it's interesting to see where we go from here though. All right, we go, at, oh yeah, look at that, February. February is all about romance and capturing that essence of romance. There is someone here that you have a huge crush on, like you feel so connected to them. You can fantasize about them a lot physically as well. Um, and of course, some of you are definitely going to get invited out on dates. It's interesting because in February we also have uh, Valentine's Day, but you know, regardless of Valentine's Day, love can exist every other, like every, on all other days, you know, I think that's important as well. It's not the only day of love. But uh, yeah, the lovers here shows that you feel really optimistic about love, you feel happy, you're getting um, invited on dates, you may also be given a gift. It's really beautiful because the lovers is really about, you know, just joy and happiness in regards to love, spending your time with someone else, having this beautiful communication because the lovers is ruled by Gemini. Gemini is ruled by Mercury. So that beautiful Mercury energy now, keep in mind there is also Mercury retrograde happening in February. So when you have a Mercury retrograde, of course, what I will say is that I believe the retrograde will end, I think it's the second to last week of February. I, 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 I haven't looked at the dates properly, I will be honest, but uh, somewhere around then, there's just a shadow period of Mercury retrograde though, goes all the way across February. So I just will say as well, if you are communicating with just anyone in this month, which you will be of course, just make sure you double check things. Um, we call that proofreading here <laughs> in the UK, you know, where you just double check things, just make sure that, you know, anything that you sign, you've re, you know, you've reread. If you are writing down numbers, letters, things like that, just reread, 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 because this is so, so important, just in case, you know, you've misspelled something, because during a Mercury retrograde, there can be miscommunications that do happen. So just doing that will save you a lot of uh, stress, okay? <laughs> Speaking of Mercury, you've also got here the Hermit. So the Hermit is ruled by Virgo. There's only two signs that are ruled by Mercury and it is Gemini and Virgo. Look at that, okay? So Mercury is very dominant in the first portion and part of your, yeah, the first, uh, the, yeah, the first quarter, you know, it's, it's really, really dominant. So what I see here happening for you in March is that you're going to go again inwards and you're going to really reflect on certain opportunities and things that you would like to do. So some of you are going to be thinking about, you know, a course that you want to do. Some of you are going to think about, you know, any kind of job switches that you want to do. Some of you are also going to think about businesses that you want to set up. You're going to use that inner light within yourself to really, really communicate with yourself and strengthen what it is that you want your life purpose to be. Here you are finding yourself to such a 
yeah, there you go. <laughs> Even in April, right? You are finding your life purpose. You are healing from past traumas. You are taking accountability and responsibility for yourself. You are aligning higher to your divine self. Now, this may all sound very boring and you might be like, uh, Moonlight, this is a really boring reading and like switch off in a second. I'm telling you, it's going to get better. Why? Because when you connect to your divine self, when you go through this work, when you are reflecting, when you are doing the most you can for yourself, abundance is going to come. This is the calm before the storm. And the storm is not a stormy storm. It is a really wonderful storm, okay? I know that storms are not always good, but sometimes, you know, there can be like a rush of things where you have like a million things to do and it's really good. It feels satisfying. You feel fulfilled. That's a good storm. You know, not all storms are terrible. Um, it's a little bit like, you know, for example, when you feel like there's not a lot to do and then suddenly you feel like there's a lot to do. It's like, yeah, polar opposites, but you'll feel really good about that because you feel like you're occupied. You've got a lot to do. You're not just sitting there twiddling your thumbs. You feel motivated. So really this um, in April is a great healing is going to happen in your life where you feel so much stronger and happier. And then boom, your finances take off tremendously in May. Okay. We also have Taurus season um, in May as well. And well, we actually have two seasons, yes, but <laughs> we also have Taurus season and um, your finances are becoming much more stable. You are feeling better. You have more energy to give. People are much more respectful, kind, caring, genuine, especially in work environments. They're really, really appreciative of your energy. You feel really balanced here with the scales. That balance continues here in June. More financial balance and stability. You know, you have moved past these rocky waves of your past to then feel so balanced and happy and fulfilled in your present. Beautiful. Okay, so June here goes to show that emotionally you will feel the most balanced you have really felt in a long time in June, which continues in July. July here shows a beautiful opportunity. This can also mean commitment, okay? Commitment in terms of relationships, commitment in July, where you feel happy, motivated, fulfilled, um, financially very, very secure. You find your own personal truth. You find victory in yourself that all of this hard work and reflecting that you've done has paid off. Whew, I'm speechless. I really am. Incredible incredible. See, it just gets better. Let's keep going. I know you want to see it. Comment down below. It just gets better. That phrase, okay, is an amazing affirmation. It just gets better. And that is like a rolling kind of affirmation where, you know, it is, it is good right now, but it just gets better. Just gets better. It just continues, you know, it's a beautiful affirmation. We have here the hanged man. Okay, so August, a lot of reflection. A lot of you are going to be, you know, doing a lot of spiritual practices. Some of you might dive into doing like Reiki or little courses here and there, visiting a spiritual healer, perhaps uh, really working at these things by yourself and perhaps getting some services done or, you know, some healings done with someone who's a professional. Now, I also offer services as well. I <laughs> just wanted to like mention that. But these are things that, you know, you might be doing for yourself as well. So for example, some of you might really partake meditating and meditating consistently. You might really be like, you know what? I'm doing so many of these other things on a daily basis. Let me, let me implement this into my routine. So there's a real sense here of you taking care of yourself spiritually and feeling actually very good about it in August because you're starting to see a huge result as to how it's helped you. So what I see in August is that you're going to be like, well, wow, I've seen a result. And I feel even more motivated to go down this direction. You know, when someone sees a result of the hard work they do and then it just motivates them to power through and do even more, that's what I see, right? It's true. Like when people start to see results of the work that they're doing, they want to do more of it, you know? So that's what I see there. September, Ace of Wands. There you go. The more, you know, th there's power in what you're doing. It's amazing. Intimacy, attraction, fulfillment. It's a very intimate month for you just saying and uh, yeah there you go this uh, is a very intimate last quarter well actually the last quarter starts here but y you know what i mean there's a trip that you take here in november so basically there's something really beautiful and creative in september but also you're feeling very intimate very 
very good about yourself, you're feeling fulfilled, motivated, excited. Page of Wands as well, again, very creative. You feel good about your personality and who you are. There's a lot of self-acceptance that I see in October. And then in November, you feel free. You feel happy. You feel spontaneous, motivated. You feel excited. You feel free. There is a beautiful trip that you may be taking here um, in November, which I think is amazing. And it's really life-changing. It just makes you feel so good about yourself. And December. A desire of yours has manifested in December. Something you've always wanted. The Nine of Cups is a wish card. It's like a genie, right? It only gets better. It only gets better. It only gets better. It really does. That's an amazing affirmation. I was going to say, you know, let me know what your wish is, but I'm not going to do that. <laughs> I know I just did, I just said that, but I'm not going to do that because obviously, you know, we want well, you know, it's, it's okay for you to like, you know, share your wishes, but I think let's, let's keep it to ourselves, you know, and let's spread the affirmation. It only gets better because that's going to help. You know, sometimes they say, if you, if you say your wish, then it, it doesn't happen. So let's just, you keep your wish to yourself, right? But it only gets better. Nine of cups shows a wish of yours is going to manifest. And this is going to vary from person to person. Overall, it's a beautiful balanced year where not only is there a lot of self-discovery for yourself and your divine self, but you're going to feel stronger, better, happier, more motivated, more fulfilled, and really excited. So this is your reading Aries. Wow. Amazing. And of course, if this resonates with you, let me know in the comment section below. Well, actually, if you claim it, you know, because you won't know it resonates until like 2023. <laughs> 2023. So yeah, if you claim this, of course, let me know um, by liking the video, subscribing, you know, commenting down below. It only gets better. And of course, you know, don't forget to check out the description box below for information on private paid readings, reading giveaway, and intention items, which are on my website. Um, and of course, um, services I offer. I also have TikTok and Instagram. Definitely follow me on there if you're interested um, because I post short readings on there every single day and I have been doing so for, I'd say, probably about three, four months now. So, you know, when I when I say that I'm consistent, I am very consistent, you know, posting on YouTube every day, posting on multiple platforms every day. I've, you know, I've even done like private readings as well um, for three years in a row without a single day off. Um, you know, so the consistency is really there and I think that you know, it's, it's there. So, um, yes. Anyways, so this is your reading. And of course, uh, I hope you will take care as well. All right. Bye.